Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Engineering Mechanics Tutor. We're dealing with statics and we're learning how to find resultant forces of two vectors. And here in this set of lessons, we're learning how to use the uh, parallelogram rules, the triangle rules, law of sines and law of cosines to find the resultant, which is just a fancy way of saying that we're adding two vectors together. All right, so what we have on the board is this problem here. We have F1 and F2. Uh, F1 is 900 newtons, F2 is 600 newtons. Notice the arrow for F1 is longer than this arrow, and that's because it's representing 900 newtons versus 600 newtons. We're also given a couple of angles. We know that the angle between F1 and the x-axis is 35 degrees, but we also know that the angle F2, between F2 and F1, so this interior angle here is 40 degrees. All right, uh, and so we're asked to find the resultant. And when, when you see something, uh, unless it's otherwise stated, when the problem just says find the resultant, what you want to be able to find is the magnitude, that means the length of the vector, or it results from the addition of these. And you also, in general, want to find the direction of that vector, which is, in this case, the angle to the x-axis. That's what this means. So we know, just from looking at the problem, that uh, here we have some kind of eye bolt or something. You can think of of those got a little circle with a threaded, uh, a threaded uh, exterior, maybe screwed into a block of wood or something. And here I've got a rope attached to it and I'm pulling with 600 newtons. And here I've got a rope pulling this way at 900 newtons. If F1 and F2 had exactly the same magnitude, which they don't in this case, but if they did have the same magnitude, then F1 would be maybe down here. These two arrows would be about the same. And in that case, the resultant we would expect to split the difference between them. This one's pulling a little bit up. This one's pulling a little bit sideways. But ultimately, the resultant we would expect to be like this. However, F1 is actually pulling harder. So we expect the resultant to be tilted a little bit more towards F1. And that's what we expect. So we always want to get a, a kind of a sanity check on what we think is going to happen before we solve anything. All right, the next thing we want to do is, in these problems, we want to try to draw a parallelogram with the forces that we have and try to find as much information about angles as we have so that we can use our law of sines and law of cosines uh, here in a moment. So I'm going to do my best to do that here. We're going to draw the parallelogram right below. So what we have here is basically this one here. This line represents uh, F1, or I should say F2, which was 600 newtons. All right, now this is freehand, so I'm trying to match it, but it's not probably quite right. And then what I have over here is a vector over here, which is going to be this one right here, like this. And this is F2, which is 900 newtons. All right, 